Hey guys, back here again. I don't normally do these kind of videos, but I feel it's really time to do one. Yes guys, as the title suggests, why indeed do we need another Die Hard movie? Why indeed? Okay guys, before I get into the rant, I just want to say the first three Die Hards are some of my favourite movies of all time. The first one is just a classic Classic movie, classic action movie, classic thriller as well. I consider it a thriller. Some of the elements that could be considered to be a thriller, but it's just one of my favourite movies. The second one, not a lot of people talk about for some reason. I think it's a great sequel. Um, yes, it, it pretty much is the same movie as the first one, but that's not always a bad thing, especially when it's done well, as Die Hard 2 was. And then, of course, Die Hard 3 it just took it up a notch. Great villain, great sidekick and Samuel L. Jackson. Great, great villain, as I said, played by uh, Jeremy Irons, who did an absolutely fantastic job in the movie. And, of course, it took it out of that whole L.A. feeling, you know, that you had with the first two movies, apart from the fact that the first two was uh, in Washington in Dulles Airport. But... Die Hard 3 brought it into New York, into John McClane's own back garden. Yes, that's the other point as well. John McClane in the first three Die Hards is one of the best movie characters ever created, if not in history, if not in the last 25 years. Now, the reason I didn't include 4 and 5 in that is that 4, while there are some things about it that I like, it's, it really doesn't hold up to its predecessors. I'm just going to say that right now. Yes, you know, Bruce Willis was clearly still on board to be John McClane in the fourth one. And some of that does shine through. And I really thought, you know, it's... Die Hard 4 was one of the first times that we saw, you know, these classic action stars starting to um, come back into... Uh, their franchises and starting to play up uh, on the fact that they were now old and grey and everything, you know. Die Hard 4 was the first time, well, Bruce Wells wasn't grey, he was bald, but that's beside the point. And Die Hard 5... I don't even want to talk about Die Hard 5. I'll just say Die Hard 5 is one of the most blatant cash grabs in Hollywood history and movie history. You know, they didn't make that for the fans. Bruce Willis didn't make that for the fans. He made that to make a quick buck. And it just... It makes me sick talking about it. So, this past week we've heard the news that there's going to be a Die Hard prequel. A Die Hard prequel, while it sounds interesting on paper... Uh, I'll admit that it sounds interesting. I, for one, I'm not interested in it. As I said at the start of the video, guys, we have had three great Die Hard movies, a great trilogy. In my opinion, it is a trilogy. It's not a franchise. It's a trilogy, in my opinion. Uh, and why do we need to sully that even further? Soil that even further than with 4 and 5. Why do we need a prequel to do that? The fact that it's a prequel about John McClane doesn't make a difference because that means you're going to have to get someone younger other than Bruce Willis to play John McClane. And in my opinion, there's only one person who can play John McClane and that's Bruce Willis. And the worst thing is, me being a fan of the franchise, it probably means I'm going to be persuaded to go and see it, which out of principle I wouldn't do. You know, maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe it won't be too bad. But after watching Die Hard 5, I'm just going to say, guys, I'm not too hopeful for it. Maybe this wasn't as big of a rant as you were expecting, as I was expecting, but these are just my thoughts on, you know, a trilogy of movies which have meant a lot to me growing up. They've sh shaped my humour. They've shaped my love of action movies as well. You know, Die Hard was really the first proper action movie I ever saw, and it really got me interested into how action movies are filmed, how they're choreographed and everything, I thought it was absolutely fantastic and you know, at least we'll always have the first three to look back on and say, yeah, those were some great pieces of filmmaking. Overall guys, you know, if it gets made, you know, it, it hasn't um, been officially greenlit yet, but if it does get made, 
I will go and see it, just out of morbid curiosity. Uh, but I'm not saying I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I'm not getting my hopes up at all whatsoever. I'm not getting my hopes up at all. But it'll be interesting to see what they can do with it. And hopefully they stay faithful to what made the first three great. So guys, how do you feel about the new Die Hard movie? Are you happy? Are you sad? Let me know down below guys. Anything and everything, as always. Guys, if you like this, please press the button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It would really mean a lot. As always, I'm Jason Black. You guys have been awesome. Take care.